What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be continuing our U-Trips offensive series. We're talking about the Y-Off Trips Pats that is found in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite little passing concepts from this formation to be able to just simply destroy really any zone coverage. This is also very good against man, but I specifically like to use this when I'm giving, getting a heavy dose of like cover three Mabel or cover four. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're going over the New England Patriots Gun Wide Off Trips Pats formation. We're going to be going over the scat play, and if you have not already gotten my complete New England Patriots offensive guide, I've actually broken down the entire uh, playbook in depth and uh, if you want to get access to the entire offensive guide that goes through every formation in the New England Patriots playbook uh, you can get that down in the description of this video that would be a great thing to get if you're look if you're really serious about preparing for Madden 22 because I believe that the New England Patriots playbook has everything that you need to dominate it has gun bunch it has U trips it has spread it has uh, trips tied in it has split close it has eye tight every type of way that you want to play in Madden 22, this is going to help you prepare for it. So the play scat and how we're going to use this is I really, this is where I really value having the hot route master ability or the tight end apprentice ability on my player uh, because I want to put my tight end on a post route. And when I put him on the post route, uh, I typically will go ahead and smart route him and really the purpose of this is to hold their user in the middle of the field. Now, if I don't have a tight end apprentice, I'll simply put him on a smart route and dig route, and that will tend to be enough for what we're trying to accomplish. But ideally, this guy's going to be on a post route. Now, the R1 receiver, what I like to do with him is I like to put him on a hitch, and then I like to motion him over. And as he's motioning over, I'm going to put my running back on either a table route or a simple little flat route. We're actually going to let this. Um, we're actually going to let the receiver on the outside set or snap the ball just as he gets outside. And the reason why I like to do that is because this little hitch that Square is on is going to hold these yellow zones. They're going to sit right on him, and it's going to leave this nice little pocket open for the slot receiver coming across the formation. Now, this is where I go back and forth on should you put your running back on a, you know, a table route or should you put him on a flat route? Uh, because the flat route is going to get a little bit wider. And let me just show you that real quick. You're just going to see it's just going to swing to the outside. The reason I like this is because you're just going to get a little bit better spacing uh, out of it. It's going to really pull those flat coverages to the outside just like that right there. Now, that's an automatic, absolute laser every single time. Um, one of the cool parts about this little play here is let's say that they go with like a heavy, you know, cover zero in your face, uh, or not cover zero, but like hard flatted, you know, type of cover three, five man pressure. What you're gonna notice here is that it's gonna bring the safety down. And if that linebacker on the left side blitzes, then I can just throw right behind the blitz. And you see there, I've got a nice little easy read to that little quick a uh, little button hook from Antonio Brown. The next thing that I'm gonna be able to do is their user is going to kind of be forced to play this tight end route. Uh, and I'm gonna show you why. So typically speaking, their user is going to sit right here. Um, now let's just say for sake of argument that he wants to take away that little quick throw to the hitch. Then what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna have this nice little levels concept, which is my favorite concept in Madden. Uh, wide open here. So if they move their coverage and they're not taking that tight end away, right on the cut, you can easily uh, hit that. Now, also, let's say that they have a yellow zone there, but let's just say that they're not interested in using that yellow zone. So what that's going to practically look like is you see here, I've got two yellow zones in the middle of the field. I've got a hook curl and I've got a uh, vertical hook. The vertical hook being a really good zone to stop hitches you're going to see that not only are we going to have every, we're basically going to have everything open here, but this tight end route, when he cuts to the inside, we're just going to wait on it. And you can see we can throw this ball right on the sideline against kind of a general Mabel coverage, 525 uh, and 5, or in this case, 10, 10, 
and 30. It's going to work against both of those types of coverages, and you're just going to be very consistent against this. So if this linebacker comes over here into the right side to take away the tight end, the other thing that's really nice about this play is the fact that we are going to be able to uh, leverage the power of this little route to the circle receiver. So if they climb up the seam with the tight end, at this little point right here, we can hit a little low ball for about five to 10 yards, relatively easy to Mike Evans. Now the cool part about the spacing of this offense, because of the U-trips, what I love about U-trips is that the spacing is such that the tight end is uh, a pretty good distance away from the circle receiver. And so when you use this motion, it just creates, I think, perfect spacing. And so what's going to happen is if they go with the tight end, they basically can't cover both. You're going to be able to either hit the tight end or you're going to be able to hit that little underneath route coming underneath the defense or coming underneath the, the defense like that. Now, really quickly, I just want to hit on man-to-man -man coverage. One of the things that's really popular from U-Trips, I think pretty effective out of the 3-3-5 wide, is to use you know kind of press man-to-man -man coverage specifically to stop the tight end out of this offense. And what you're going to see is press man is still not going to matter. It doesn't matter. Route running thresholds, none of that matters when you talk about that post route. That's why the tight end post route, I just think it's really um, – I just think, honestly, it's still one of those slept-on routes that not, people, not many people realize is super, super effective. Now, I won't lie to you and say that man coverage is – um, not the probably best way to defend this. Like I said, I call this typically if they're running a lot of zone coverage. But if they are running man-to-man, -man, this little square receiver, is um, that little button hook, is going to be really nice because you're going to get both of these receivers on the left side. They're going to be unbumpable when you use this motion snap. So the cool part about that is the biggest thing that really gets in the way of these hitches being really good is the press coverage. So if you see something like this, you could easily throw this ball to Godwin right on the cut, low ball, pass lead inside, little bullet pass to, to get him open. So if you see man coverage, don't be afraid. You can still throw um, one of these little underneath you know, curls or uh, hitches. The other thing that's really cool about this offense is this route to the circle receiver typically is going to beat man to man to the inside, as you can see right there, really nicely. You're going to pull their user out of the middle of the field with the tight end post. And then it's going to force them to have to honor the, the route to, to R1. And really what you're going to get is you're going to force them. They're going to actually start going from the tight end to the circle receiver. So they come off the tight end, they go to circle. That's where you're going to just continue to be strong in the pocket and just simply hit that route to the square receiver. Now, another little thing that I want to prepare you for is if they send a five-man pressure at you out of this and they take this guy down and they put him on like a they put him on like a hook uh, a hook curl uh, I just want you to pre uh, be prepared for something like this and so what you can do out of this is basically now your hitch is going to be the route that you're going to want to hit so you see the hook curl is going to sit inside so we just throw the hitch and you're going to get upfield and get easy yardage so this offense is a lot of fun. This formation in particular has what I believe to be, I think, honestly, it's probably the best spacing in the entire game with what you can do and how you can leverage the power of these little routes to the slot receiver and to the tight end and all that stuff. So I would encourage you to continue to watch these uh, these videos on this formation. I think this formation is going to be very, very good next season uh, just because the pace of the game is going to slow down a little bit, which typically makes spread formations a little bit better and if you've not gotten the new england patriots offensive guide yet i want to encourage you to do that and the main reason why is just because we've broken down every single formation so you're not only getting u trips but you're also getting trips tied in and then you're also getting ace close and then you're also getting um split close and i tied and all of that stuff so if you've not gotten the new england patriots offensive guide yet i'm going to encourage you to do that and i'm going to put a link to that guide in the description of this video